Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert a physical Windows machine to a virtual one using Disk to VHD, a free tool from Microsoft Sys Internals Suite. It's fast, simple and perfect if you want to run your current system inside the virtual machine. Let's get started. First, you need to download Disk to VHD tool. Just open your browser and in the search bar type Disk to VHD download. Click on the appropriate link, here it is, then download the tool. After downloading the tool, you should extract the zip file, then go to the tool folder and run the tool. Make sure that if your operating system is 64 bits, choose the 64 version. If you choose the 32 version, it will not work and it will display an error message. So let's run the tool. In the tools menu, first you need to choose the volumes you want to convert. On my physical machine, I have two disks, the C drive and the D drive, and these two volumes with this strange name, volume followed by IDs, are in fact system volumes that contains system partitions that allow the operating system to boot. If you don't include these two volumes, your VM may not start properly. So make sure to include these two volumes. In my case, I will not include the D drive. So I will keep these three volumes selected. Then I will check use volume shadow copy. If unchecked, the tool will directly copy files from running operating system. This may lead to missing files because they will be locked by the operating system and the tool cannot access them. So by selecting use volume shadow copy, the tool will create snapshots and avoiding this problem. And finally, choose where to store the generated VHD disk. When done, click create to start the operation. Okay, I have already created a previous file, so click yes to overwrite. It will take a moment to create the VHD disk, so be patient, and I will be back after the operation complete. All right, the tool has completed converting the selected volumes. In the next step, I'm going to open Microsoft Hyper-V, create a new virtual machine and import the newly created virtual hard disk. So let's do that. Open Hyper-V Manager. Right click on the Hyper-V host and select new virtual machine. I will follow the creation steps give a name to my virtual machine. Let's name it my VM. Click next. I choose generation two for better performance and security. Click next. Here you choose the amount of memory you allocate to the virtual machine. The startup memory, I will keep it four gigabyte by default which is the minimum required for running Windows 11 operating system. And I will keep use dynamic memory for this virtual machine. This means whenever my virtual machine need more than four gigabyte of memory, it will be dynamically allocated as long as the physical machine has this amount of memory to allocate. So I click next. Here I will connect my VM to the default virtual switch so it will get access to the internet. Click next. Here I will connect my virtual hard disk. I just converted using the disk to VHD tool. I will browse and search for the location where I stored the virtual disk. Here it is. 
click next check the summary page and if everything is okay click finish okay my vm has been created so now i'm going to start my vm and if everything has been done correctly my vm will start properly and i will be able to log in so i will click connect to open a session okay uh, i will click connect it display a message that say could not connect to the virtual machine try again this kind of problem happens because maybe the virtual machine is dealing with drivers that are not adapted to run on a virtual machine and in some cases it will be automatically fixed so i will try to keep clicking connect and this time it seems to work and i get the login page and i will enter my password the same password i used on the physical machine and here it is finally i am connected to my virtual machine that is in fact my physical machine that i have converted to a vm and if you look closely you can see that I have the same background and the same applications that have been converted with the VM. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.